When we find similar but distinct types, like the Galapagos giant tortoises on different islands of an archipelago, it suggests that travelling between the islands wasn't impossible, but it was rare. When a fertilised female or a small group happens to float by a freak accident to a new island, its descendants evolve to best survive in the new environment. The shell shape differences are evidence of such speciation. This is the Santa Cruz variety of the giant tortoise. It's one of those that has a high domed shell as opposed to a saddle shaped shell. It comes from lush grassland and largely grazes, evolutionarily speaking, whereas the saddleback ones live on more desert islands and they need to reach up to get the cactus fruits, which is why the front of the shell is high and makes it look like a saddle. When Darwin visited the archipelago, he was told by the lieutenant governor that he could tell which island the tortoises came from just from looking at their shells. And this must have been one of the things that gave Darwin a clue. Although, to be fair, Darwin can't have had all that much of a clue then because he actually muddled up some of his specimens and didn't record which island they came from. We can also compare the genes of these different tortoise species, and they show us that they are descended from a common ancestor population which originally came from the mainland of South America by an even more improbable freak accident. Archipelagos like Galapagos are workshops of evolutionary divergence.